Why pay someone else to replace a cabin filter in your vehicle when you could purchase one from filterheads.com and do it yourself? When you purchase a filter from us, you get a superior quality cabin filter that is engineered to fit and function exactly like the original filter. Our instructional video is made to give you the confidence you need to do the job correctly. Open the glove box. Remove the two stops on the inside of the glove box by pushing in on them from the outside and partially closing the glove box as you pivot them to clear the openings. This process can be difficult because of the limited space you have for your arm when you partially close the glove box. Unhook the dampener cord from the glove box by partially closing the glove box as you remove it from the opening. Let the glove box hang towards the floor. On the bottom left of the glove box, there is a 10 millimeter bolt and a Phillips head screw that must be removed. On the bottom right of the glove box, there is a 10 millimeter bolt and a Phillips head screw that must be removed. Once you remove these bolts and screws, the glove box can be set aside. Remove the two screws from the top of the glove box assembly. There is a 10 mm nut in the middle of the glove box assembly that must be removed. This can be difficult to remove because of the limited amount of space around it. Pull straight out on the glove box assembly to unclip it from the frame. You can tilt the assembly and set it on the floorboard without disconnecting the wires. Loosen the panel on the bottom of the housing by pulling it down to unhook it. Unhook the bottom of the filter cover to remove it. If your vehicle has an old filter, remove it from the housing. The AQ1022 filter that you purchased from filterheads.com comes in two pieces because some vehicles only have access to the top half of the housing. Install the bottom piece into the housing with its airflow indicator arrow pointing towards the left side of the vehicle. Install the top filter into the housing. It will only go into the housing in one orientation to lock with the bottom filter. Reinstall the housing cover by sliding the top tab into the notch and clipping the bottom back onto the housing. Connect the bottom panel back onto the housing. Make sure you secure the clip on the middle of the panel. Move the glove box assembly back into place and snap it back onto the frame. Make sure none of the wires came loose. If they did, reconnect them. Reinstall the 10 mm nut that secures the middle of the glove box assembly to the frame. Reinstall the two screws that secure the top of the glove box assembly. Hold the glove box up against the glove box assembly and reinstall the bolts and screws that secure the left and right side of the glove box to the assembly and frame. Pull out on the dampener cord while you partially close the glove box to reconnect it. Reinstall the two stops that hold the glove box in place. Close the glove box.
purchase this filter by clicking here or subscribe to our channel by clicking here.